G'day. This is a motorcycle's tale. Previously on A Motorcycle's Tale. What's that motorcycle? It's a Honda Shadow. Welcome to this episode of A Motorcycle's Tale. Today's motorcycle is a 2008 Honda Shadow, kindly lent to us by Stephanie. Let's go for a ride. Okay, first ride of a Honda Shadow. Now, technically, this isn't my first ride of a Honda Shadow, as I used to own one 12 years ago. So, in all honesty, I really can't give you a first ride experience, but it has been 12 years since I've ridden one, so that should be fun. Let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness, I forgot how different this was. Okay. This bike has a really big, comfortable seat. I cannot believe how big and comfortable this seat is. How does it turn? Nah, not that tight, but we'll really get to see what it's like once we get on and doing the figaros and figure eights. Ooh, like, isn't that fun? Looking at people just pulling out in front of you. Let's just get a good look at his license plate number for later. These beach bars are very different. I can't remember what I had on my old bike. I'm not sure if it was beach bars like this and they definitely weren't as low as this. I have a feeling that Figaro's could definitely be challenging with these beach bars. Nice and stable, as always, as all Honda bikes are. They're always so stable. It's like they seem to want to put all the weight down the bottom of the bike so that it's very, very easy to control because it's bottom heavy, not top heavy. The tank is super duper wide. Very interesting. I forgot how wide these tanks really are. The pegs. The pegs make me feel like I'm in a couch. Absolutely. So, here we go with another couch bike. Going up a nice steep hill. Let's see how she goes up here. There she goes up there quite nicely. There's some quite loud pipes on this bike. Oh my goodness, the cushion on this seat is just really comfy. It just, it's, it's like, it's just like it's cupping me. It's, yeah, the seat is big. The seat is huge. The seat is comfy. 
Oh my goodness. Let's see how I feel at the end of my review today. Okay, and here we are setting up for our Figaro's and figure eights. Let's have some fun. Off we go, doing figure eights and figure o's. I'm thinking that these beach bars are going to create a bit of havoc. I'm not sure how tight I'm going to be able to get. Oh, oh four lines. Get my knees outside the beach bar lines. Get my knees outside the beach bar bars. Oh, oh three and a half. Woohoo! Three and a half. Yay! Okay, into figure eights. I'm not going to do this. This is going to be bad. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Oh dear. Well, we think these are the biggest figure eights I've ever done, even including the Harley previously. <laughs> okay. And there we go. I think that'll do. All right, here we go. Up to 50 we go. And at 50 we are, and release, set, squeeze. Beautiful. And again at 50, getting ready. And release, set, squeeze. Oh, beautiful stopping. Beautiful. Go. And 60. Go. 60. And once again, the twisty hill with a boat of a bike. shadows have really top-notch brakes, really good brakes, very controllable with the brakes that these bikes have. And we come to a stop. I 100% 
must admit I have totally forgotten how nice and throaty a 750 Honda Shadow sounds. It's very, very nice, especially with the baffles removed. And the Honda Shadow seems to very much like nice sweeping turns. Pros. The Shadow has a comfortable riding position, making it suitable for longer rides. It is primarily designed for cruising on highways and city streets. It is not suited for off-road or sport riding. The Shadow Series tends to have good fuel economy for its class. Honda is well known for producing reliable motorcycles. The Shadow is no exception. With proper maintenance, a 2008 Honda Shadow can provide years of trouble-free riding. They are known for their low maintenance requirements compared to some other motorcycles. Aftermarket support. Due to their popularity, there's a wide range of aftermarket parts and accessories available for customising and personalising the bike to your preferences. Cons. Being a 2008 model, the Shadow may lack some of the modern technological features found in newer motorcycles. This includes things like advanced ABS systems, ride modes and electronic aids. While the Shadow is comfortable for the rider, the passenger seat may be less comfortable for long rides compared to some other motorcycles. Today's tests, figure O's and figure eights. The Shadow struggled slightly with figure O's and more so with figure eights. It was probably the largest figure eight to date of the bikes reviewed this year, including the Dyna, and that was a challenge. But I never felt like I was gonna drop it. It is very stable in the turns. Emergency stops, and zero to 60. The Shadow, doing both emergency stops and the zero to 60 test, had no struggle at all and easily completed these two tests. The Twisty Hill. While the Shadow completed this test well enough, the further up the hill I got, the harder it got to turn the twists. Down was much easier than up. Would I recommend the Honda Shadow to someone as a first bike? No. It is for someone who has been riding for a year or two, not for someone who just got their license. The Shadow is a great bike to own and is fun and comfortable to ride. I would say that if you've had your license for a few years, the Shadow is a great bike to own and is fun and comfortable to ride. And some of the bobber customizations that people have done lately are just so beautiful. I hope today's episode on the Honda Shadow has told you a motorcycle's tale. Thank you for tuning into this episode of A Motorcycle's Tale. If you have a bike that you would like to see reviewed, or if you have any other tests that you would like added to the reviews that I do, please put a comment down below or send an email to a motorcycle's tail at gmail.com and I shall do my best to include it in a future video. Normally, now, I would go into what's that motorcycle? But this is the last motorcycle of the year. I'm going to do something a little different in the next episode. So, Instead of what's that motorcycle, what's that helmet?